So if you sell shoes on eBay, I'm sure you've seen over the last couple of weeks, they've sent out a couple different messages. They are changing how they do their shoes between 100 and $150. This has to do with fees and shipping. So I thought I would make an explanation video for you guys explaining exactly what this new policy is and how it may affect your business and if this is a good or bad thing for eBay. So let's jump straight into it. So before this new update, everyone knows that eBay was 7% fees for shoes that have a basic store or better or 8% for anyone else for shoes over $100 and you always came up with your own shipping label. That's always been how it is on eBay. You always generate your own shipping labels. They've never given you prepaid labels like Poshmark does or StockX. Well, that's where things are changing. Effective October 10th, 2022, eBay is basically becoming StockX with shoes between $100 and $150 and they will give you a prepaid label that will send the shoes through the authentication system that they've already guaranteed on shoes over $100. But basically eBay is just taking this into their hands. As for the fees, before, like I said, they were seven or 8% for shoes over 100 and shoes under 100 have been 12 to 12.9%. Well, now with this new update and the prepaid labels, eBay is now making all their shoes up to $150, 12% for people who have the basic store or above, or 12.9% for people who do not have a store. So eBay is raising their rates a good 5% on shoes. However, they are providing a label. Am I for this? Honestly, I don't really like this because it costs me usually eight to twelve dollars to ship a pair of shoes brand new in box and I think charging the buyer a flat fifteen dollar rate is just kind of outrageous because I know eBay's making money on what I'm paying already for the labels so they're just putting more money in their pockets if you ask me if it was closer to like a $10 flat rate label, I think I would get behind this because you could see your profits go up a little bit, I think, but $14.95 for a label, that just seems a little high. Anyways, now who are they using for these labels? FedEx. I freaking hate FedEx. If I had to pick the worst carrier out of all of them, I would say FedEx. I use UPS and USPS all the time and I love them. I literally will pay two or three dollars more to send something UPS or USPS to not have to go to FedEx. I've just had so many problems with them in the past. And also my local FedEx is absolutely garbage. I hope you guys are watching this because you have horrible service and you just always have a long line and are very disrespectful to people. There's my little rant on FedEx. This is another reason I'm not a big fan of this because I just really can't stand FedEx and I know a lot of other people have had problems with them. Hopefully they get better. Who knows, only time will tell. So once you sell an item, eBay is going to provide you with a label just like Poshmark, just like StockX. All you have to do is print that out, slap it on the box and take it to FedEx. If you don't have a printer, no biggie, eBay will send you a QR code that you can take to FedEx and I'm sure they will gladly help you scan that thing and get you off on your merry way in less than five minutes. I'm just absolutely sure of it. Now it does say in one of these messages that in order to use this prepaid service, you have to offer three business handling days or better. So I'm wondering if I offer four business handling days, if I can still ship my own. Time will only tell on that, but if you're offering three business days or better, then this is how it's going to work on shoes between $100 and $150. Another thing they haven't clarified is what the fees will be for shoes over $150. I'm hoping those keep the seven, 8% rates. That would be great. Also, how does insurance work with these? It says Ebo will cover the package up until it gets to the authentication center, which seems kind of fishy to me. What if the authentication center loses it or from there to the destination that it's going? It doesn't say anything about that. And honestly, eBay says they're taking care of the shipping. So hopefully they will take care of that too, but it does only clarify that they will take care of the first leg of it. You guys have kind of already heard my opinion on this in here, but how will this affect your profit margins and how you price items. I've actually come up with an example to hopefully lay out the numbers and make this easier for you guys. So I've got this pair of shoes here. Shout out to my boy James. He sent me some from his personal collection I'm selling. Uh, this is one of the pairs. I honestly don't even know what these are going for. We're just going to say $120 just to make the math super simple. So let's say we have these priced on eBay right now before October 10th. $120. We're going to take out our 7% fees, which would be 
$8.40. And then we are going to take out our shipping. Usually, like I said, it costs me between $8 to $12 to ship a pair of shoes new in box in another box. So we're just gonna say $10 just for a nice average. So take out $10 to ship it. And then let's say we paid $50 for these. Again, we are just trying to come up with an example of a pair of shoes that you would flip for a profit. This is a common example. I sell a lot of shoes from like $50 to $120. So that's just what we're going off of. So take out $50 for cost of goods sold. That would leave us with a profit of $51.60. Now let's go with the new version. eBay, remember, is going to charge that $15 prepaid label. So if you wanna be competitive and say the market on these is $120, you're not going to wanna price these at $120 because eBay is going to charge them an additional $15 on that. So it's going to charge them $135 plus tax and no one's gonna to wanna to pay that if the going market is 120. So when this hits, you're going to have to adjust some prices, which is really annoying, but who knows, maybe the markets will rise a little bit because of this and not everyone paying attention to it. But anyways, let's say you price these at $105 plus the $15 shipping, which you are not going to see. That's going straight to eBay and they are sending you the label. So we're taking all of these costs out of the $105 because it's kind of like Poshmark. We're just acting like that $15 isn't there, but you don't have to to actually pay anything for shipping. So we have our $105, we subtract $12.60 in fees, and compared to the before example, this is $4.20 higher. Again, we're not going to take out anything for shipping because eBay is covering that, and then we're going to take out our cost of goods sold of $50 for a profit of $42.40. So with eBay's new policy of shoes between $100 and $150, we're making almost $10 less on these. Again, not a huge fan of this, and we're really going to just have to wait and see Maybe I will end up liking it, but just looking at it, not a huge fan. That does not mean I'm not going to continue to sell shoes on eBay. I love eBay and eBay is my best platform. So I will just figure out how to make it work. eBay's always come up with new changes and everything and you just have to adapt to them. I will continue to sell shoes on eBay. So if you have any questions or anything, feel free to drop them down below. I'll be sure to answer them. Again, we're gonna kind of just have to wait and see how this actually works out, how the markets are affected on these shoes. Who knows, maybe they stay the same and that plus $15 just gets on top of what we are already have in which you would actually make more profit on these. Also, if you are interested in finding some of these bricks to flip for a profit on eBay, that is a big part of our Discord cook group, Bread and Butter, where we get good inventory in the hands of all of our members. So if you're interested in that, you can join first link in the description. Check out our new website, breadandbutterresale.com, and you can join from there. eBay has come out with a couple other changes in this recent fall update, and I will be making some videos updating those as well, but I really wanted to get this one out because this one's happening soon, and I know a lot of people have questions on it so i hope this was really able to help you there's money to be made everywhere guys let's go get it thank you for watching the millennial profit